Chess friends, today I will show you a brilliant of brilliant chess game, where I played against four grandmasters, and I sacrificed two knights to attack on kingside, game rule is very simple, if a grandmaster makes a wrong move but another grandmaster finds the best move, the computer will choose the best move, and the game will continue like this, so let's go, I started with d4, they played knight f6, I played c3, but I would recommend you to play c4, they played e6, knight develops on f6. Hikara wants to play d5, Ian wants c5, but as a group leader Magnus here chooses to play b6, he wants bishop funetto, bishop goes to f4, bishop to e7, knight on d2, we have castle, e4 by me, in this position, I am threatening to play e5, some wants to play d6, countering like this, which is not bad, but we have d5 by two players, so, I pushed the pawn, knight back to d7, in this position my strategy and plan is to play h4, knight g5, to target this, king takes knight then queen h5 check, king back to g8. Then bring the other knight to target the h7 square as possible, and you know what, bishop can't take it, because after pawn takes, the h file will be open, and black position will be devastated. Because I have more center controlling space than black, as a 20 moves result, black kingside will be devastated once my pieces get active on there, and friends you can like and subscribe my channel now, otherwise you will forget later, so, bishop goes to d3, Ikaro Ian Magnus played bishop a6, because my light square bishop will be a dangerous sniper for black, and bishop to c2 is not good, therefore, they will push the pawn, so, I take the bishop, knight takes a6, I played h4, I already told you. Black have tiny space, my plan is to play knight here, queen h5, rook up to h3, then castle, making a rook battery on h file if needed, because black have tiny space and restricted kingside area, black strikes with c5, try to create space on queenside, rook up to h3, some grandmasters want to play f6, takes, try to open up the file for the rook, and create some space, Fobby wants to take the d-pawn, takes, try to create a file on queenside, but we have a better move by Hikaru, rook c8, making pressure on this file. Queen up to e2, again, some want to play f6, and c4, try to close the position, but we have best move by Magnus, retreating his knight to get a better position for the knight to create pressure on these pawns, we have knight to g5, bishop can't take the knight, because of pawn takes g5, queen h5, the h file will be open, if you push the pawn, then pawn takes pawn, takes, queen g4 check, then rook takes h6 will checkmate with the supporting of the bishop, so in this position, we have knight up to c5. I sacrificed my knight on h7, you have to take it, king takes knight, queen to h5 check, king back to g8, knight comes to f3, threatening to play knight g5, then checkmate on h7, so they play f6, try to protect this, believe me or not. Here I sacrificed my other knight by playing knight g5, that's why no one can sacrifice like me and become stockfish like me, don't try this at home and please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel, then subscribe to my youtube channel to reach me 59k subs, black have to take it, which they did in the game, pawn takes g5, I am threatening to push the pawn, then queen h7 mate, we have rook to f5, try to create a breathing room for the king, and pinning the pawn at the same time, so I played g4. You can't move back your rook like f8, and f7 square, if you do, then g6, h7, simple checkmate, and also, you can't take the bishop, let me show the variation, then queen h8 check, king f7, pawn check, king takes, then queen to h5, it will be a worst checkmate for four grandmasters in just 22 moves. So, back to the position, we have rook takes g5, sacrificing a rook, bishop takes g5, I am threatening to play queen h7 check, no matter, if king here or there, rook f3 check will come, king e8, then queen g6 will be checkmate. So, in this position, we have bishop takes g5, queen to h7 check, king up to f7, rook f3 check, king can't go there, because of queen g6 check, king up to e7, then queen f7 check will be mate, and if you think king e7 is good, then queen takes check, here, queen checkmate, so, 
back to the position, we have bishop to f6, pawn takes bishop, knight can't take it, because g5 will pin the knight, so, they choose to play queen g8, offering queen exchange, f takes g7, it is a discover check, king slides to e7, queen back to h6. The king needs an escaping route to escape, we have c takes pawn, queen g5 check, king runs the way, rook slides to h3, I am threatening to play this, no matter if you slides the queen from there, rook h8 will come, to destroy your territory and making a another queen, so, knight d goes to e5, we have f4, the knight can't go there, because of this, this, and this, position will be crumpted, so, we have knight to d3 check, rook takes d3, rook up to c7, I played f5, I am threatening to push the pawn. They played queen takes pawn, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, I played castle, pawn takes, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes check, king takes, they pushed the pawn, rook slides to g1. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you in my next video.